माननीय सदस्यगण जैसा आपको समाचार दो के भाग के माध्यम से पहले ही सूचित किया जा चुका है कि माननीय मंत्री जी द्वारा बजट प्रस्तुत किए जाने के पश्चात इसकी प्रतिया आपको मेंबर पोर्टल के माध्यम से उपलब्ध करा दी जाएगी आपको यह भी सूचित किया जाता है कि माननीय वित्त मंत्री जी के बजट भाषण की प्रतिया हार्ड कॉपी के रूप में उपलब्ध कराई जाएगी अतः बजट प्रस्तुत हो जाने के पश्चात सदस्य कृपया बजट भाषण की अपनी अपनी प्रति प्रकाशन पलक से ले सकते हैं आइटम नंबर वन माननीय मंत्री महोदय श्रीमती निर्मला सीतारमन जी मंत्री जी आज डिजिटल बजट पढ़ रहे हैं ऑनरेबल स्पीकर Honorable Speaker, sir, I present the budget for the year 2022-23. At the outset, at the outset, sir, I want to take a moment to express my empathy for those who had to bear adverse health and economic effects of the pandemic. The overall sharp rebound and recovery of the economy is reflective of our country's. strong resilience india's economic growth in the current year is estimated to be 9.2% highest among all large economies i recognize we are in the midst of an omicron wave with high incidence but milder symptoms further the speed and coverage of our vaccination campaign has helped greatly with an accelerated improvement of health infrastructure in the past 2 years we are in a strong position to withstand challenges i am confident that with sabka prayas we will continue our journey with strong growth honorable speaker we are marking azadi ka amrit mahotsav and have entered into amrit kal the 25 year long lead up to india at 100 Honorable Prime Minister in his Independence Day address had set out the vision for India at 100 by achieving certain goals during Amrit Kal our government aims to attain this vision they are complementing the macro economic level growth focus with a micro economic level all inclusive welfare focus promoting digital economy and fintech technology enabled development energy transition and climate action and relying on virtuous cycle starting from private investment with public capital investment helping to crowd in private investment since 2014 our government's focus has been on empowerment of citizens especially the poor and the marginalized measures have included programs that have provided housing electricity cooking gas and access to water we also have programs for ensuring financial inclusion and direct benefit transfers we are committed to strengthening the abilities of the poor to tap all opportunities our government constantly strives to provide the necessary ecosystem for the middle classes a vast and wide section which is populated across various middle income brackets to make use of the opportunities they so desire this budget seeks to lay the foundation and give a blueprint to steer the economy over amrit kal of the next 25 years from india at 75 to india at 100 it continues to build on the vision drawn in the budget of 2122 its fundamental tenets which included transparency of financial statement and fiscal position reflect the government's intent strengths and challenges this continues to guide us